So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can start your own Bitcoin ATM machine business or cryptocurrency ATM machine business and how you can make thousands and thousands of dollars every single day or possibly every single month. And the good thing about this is that ATM machines can make you a lot of money. And I already did a video breaking down how you could start a regular ATM machine business. So if you wanna check that out, you can do that. You'll need about 15 to $30,000 to start. But you can get your ATM machine business up and you can be making thousands of dollars literally every single day. Now with the Bitcoin ATM machine business, it's kind of a bit similar, but there are two main differences. Number one, you'll be trading or exchanging Bitcoin for cash or cash for Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. So that's the difference, number one. And difference number two is that there'll be different regulations depending on what city, state, or country you're in. And that will be local, so you'll have to figure out that stuff on your own. But in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a general overview of how you can start this business, what it will cost you, how much you could potentially make, and then I'm gonna go through all the pros, of course, and then all the cons, so you can make a decision on if this is something that you really wanna get into, or maybe it's not the business for you. Now, just before we get into all that stuff, just a quick reminder here, if you are new to the channel, my name is Ian. On this channel, I talk about ways to make money, ways to save money, ways to invest your money. I talk about bank accounts, credit cards, just about everything to do with personal finance. So if you like these videos and you like these types of topics, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it, it's 100% free. It won't cost you a thing. Also be sure to subscribe with the notifications on. And if any of you guys ever wanna to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, you can message me here on Instagram. Link is down below or on the screen right here. I respond to all DMs. But with that said, let's jump right into how you can start your own Bitcoin or cryptocurrency ATM machine business. Now, in a regular ATM machine business, you make money by a transaction fee, which is usually anywhere from two to $4 per transaction. This is why when you go to the ATM, it will always tell you that the owner or operator of this ATM charges a fee. Usually it's gonna be two to $4 depending on where you are. If you're in somewhere like Las Vegas, where there are a lot of casinos, or you're in like a strip club or something like that, then the fees could be as much as $10 or sometimes even more. So depending on where you are, the fees will differ and that's how the owner or operator makes their money from that ATM machine. Now with a Bitcoin or cryptocurrency ATM machines, it's a bit different because you don't charge a flat fee. Instead, you charge a percentage of the transaction. So for example, the average transaction fee or charge on a Bitcoin ATM machine right now is around 15%, which is a lot. And this range can go anywhere from eight to 15%, but usually on average, it's about 15%. So if you think about it, if you got just $1,000 worth of transactions running through your Bitcoin or your cryptocurrency ATM per day, that would work out to be around $4,500 per month. And of course, if you have more than $1,000 worth of transactions per day, then you make more money. And also if you have multiple locations, multiple ATM machines, like a network of ATM machines, then you could potentially make even a lot more money. So the first thing you're gonna do is one, you're gonna find out the local rules and regulations or any licenses that you need to apply for local to your city, state, or country. And after you get through that stuff, then you're gonna have to start an LLC. You can use LegalZoom. I'll leave the link down below. I use them for all my LLCs, pretty inexpensive. Then you have to actually go out there, buy your own ATM machine. Then you have to fund it and also maintain the ATM machine. And then you have to now go and find a location. Now, usually with a regular ATM machine, you could go to like the gas station, uh, a grocery store, probably like the barber shop, the hair salon, these types of places, you could say to the owner, hey, I got this ATM machine, I'll give you 5% of all the profits every single week or 10% or you guys can negotiate an amount and all they have to do is to ensure that there's electricity going to the ATM machine and a primary internet connection, right? So that's how you'd go about doing that business. Now with the Bitcoin or cryptocurrency ATM machine business, it's kind of like the same, but one of the main differences here is that this business is very expensive to get into, especially when compared to a regular ATM machine business. And so for example, let's go over to a website, right? So let's go over to eBay. And on eBay, you can buy a ATM machine secondhand for $1,000, $1,500, probably $1,300, but usually you can get one for about $1,000 here on eBay. Now that's good 
that's relatively inexpensive. If you wanted to buy a brand new ATM machine, it would cost you like $3,500, depending on the vendor, of course, but that's gonna be the cost. Now, if you wanna go ahead and buy your Bitcoin ATM machine, you'd go to a website like this because you're not gonna find this stuff on eBay or Amazon. And for example, here is a Bitcoin or cryptocurrency ATM machine. And it tells you all the features, you see what it looks like, but down here you can see how much it costs. So this one actually cost $7,300. Now, as you may see here, some cost like 4,000 and the range goes up. And by the way, guys, this is one of the inexpensive Bitcoin or cryptocurrency ATM machines because I've seen some that cost as much as $25,000 for one unit. Now, the next thing that you wanna look out for is the type of ATM machine that you want. So cryptocurrency ATM machines come in two main types. So you're gonna have the one-way machine and then you're gonna have the two-way machine. And the difference is basically a one-way ATM machine is one that only does one type of transaction compared to a two-way machine that does two ways. So for example, a one-way would be like a Bitcoin ATM machine that only allows you to buy Bitcoin. That's a one-way ATM machine. A two-way machine will allow you to buy and sell Bitcoin. Now, ideally, you would want the two-way machine because that way you can get more transactions flowing through one location or one ATM machine and maximize your profits because it's all about making money here. But one-way ATM machines are usually going to be cheaper than the two-way machine. So either way, it's still going to cost you. And the one-way machines are going to cost you anywhere from like $4,000 and upwards. So the cost of starting or buying a regular ATM machine is going to be on average about three times less than buying a Bitcoin or cryptocurrency ATM machine. So that's one thing that you need to consider. Now, in addition to this, you're gonna to have to fund the ATM machine yourself. So you're gonna to have to have cash to put in there every single day. And you're going to have to also have your wallet linked with Bitcoin. And if you wanna exchange other cryptocurrencies as well, then you're gonna to have to have those. So if you wanna do Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, Litecoin, all that stuff, you're gonna to have to have all of that. So it's going to cost you a lot more than starting a regular ATM machine business. Now, the next important thing that you need to look out for is the location. Now, with a regular ATM machine business, you can pretty much put one anywhere because people will most likely need cash anywhere they are and they'll wanna use their bank card, swipe and just get the cash. So like I mentioned before, you could put this in a barber salon or a hair salon. You could put this in a gym. You could put this in almost anywhere, right? And people will use these ATM machines. But with Bitcoin or cryptocurrency ATM machines, you have to put them in like really strategic locations because not everyone is gonna be using a Bitcoin Bitcoin ATM. So for example, if you're living in Florida, then if you don't want to put one in the villages, which is like the largest retirement community, because obviously retirees, they're probably not going to want to purchase Bitcoin using an ATM machine or be exchanging Bitcoins for cash, right? So you have to look out for those locations. And while Bitcoin or cryptocurrency ATMs may not be as popular as regular ATMs, there's still a lot of them around right now. For example, we could go to this website. This is coinatmradar.com. And here we have the Bitcoin ATM map that shows you pretty much the world and shows you where all the Bitcoin ATMs are and not just Bitcoin, you know, just cryptocurrency ATMs. And it shows you what they offer. And as you can see here, in, I would say, the southern region of the U.S., there are already 11,000 plus cryptocurrency ATM machines. And you can check this for all over the world, depending on where you are. But that's the amount that's here. So this will give you an idea of where Bitcoin machines are or Bitcoin ATM machines. And for example, where I live, I didn't know this before, but there are actually three cryptocurrency ATM machines around me. And I never knew this before until I went to the map and I searched for this. So finding good locations is probably gonna be a bit hard because other people have already started in this business and are scooping up all the good locations. Now, while starting your own Bitcoin or cryptocurrency ATM machine can make you a lot of money, when I was doing my research for this video, I couldn't help but thinking to myself, 
who is actually going to use a ATM machine to either buy or sell Bitcoin, right? Especially if there's a transaction fee anywhere ranging from anywhere like eight to 15% when they could simply just go on Coinbase and buy or trade their Bitcoins, right? Because that would be easier. Now, the only difference is that if you go on Coinbase, then maybe you'll have to wait a couple of days for the cash to actually be sent to your bank account or a couple of hours, as opposed to going to one of these Bitcoin or cryptocurrency ATM machines we can actually just scan your wallet or put your wallet address in and pull the cash immediately. So that was the only difference. But does that justify you spending eight to 15%? Most crypto people may say no. And that is actually the biggest con to this business because while you could potentially make a lot of money, I just don't think that a lot of people are gonna be using Bitcoin ATM machines to get cash, right? Because think about it. We're in a cashless society, or for the most part, this is a cashless society. And so, for example, I could go here right now and I can show you guys this is my wallet. And I'll look into my wallet right now and see how much cash I have. And I have just about probably $52 or $53. So I have $53 and this $53 has probably been in my wallet for over a year because I really don't need to use cash. And then secondly, you'd say, well, when people want to buy or trade or do anything with money, they'll use their ATM cards, right? And so for example, I have this card right here. It's my discover card that I can use anywhere I want. But in reality, I still don't use this card a lot because I use Apple Pay. And if you don't use Apple Pay, then you could use Google Pay or Android Pay, whatever it is because that stuff is accepted everywhere. And the last time I went to the ATM machine personally was about a year ago. And the only reason I went to the ATM machine is because I was gonna be traveling internationally. So I wanted cash. But then when I went overseas, I realized that everywhere takes credit cards. And so for example, if you have the right credit cards, for example, I got this credit card in my wallet and I probably can't show you. Okay, yeah, I can show you guys this. So I have this credit card in my wallet and with this one, I don't pay any international transaction fees. And so because of this, I could use my credit card internationally, right? And then I also realized that just about everywhere you go in the world now, they also accept Apple Pay or Google Pay or Android Pay. So in reality, I don't need that stuff. All I gotta do is grab my phone, double click on it, type my password in, and then I'll have my credit card right here that I can tap and pay and I can complete my transactions. And the same is with Bitcoin. If you want to be using Bitcoin to pay for goods or services, then the entire idea behind Bitcoin was to simply, instead of going to the ATM, grabbing cash and then coming to pay me for anything I'm selling you, you simply just use the blockchain and we'd exchange wallet addresses and we could transfer Bitcoin, right? So in my opinion, this business has maybe like three to five years to live because people aren't gonna be taking cash from the ATM anymore. I'm sure a lot of these ATM businesses are gonna be scaling down because people are just not using that cash anymore. And if you want to get cash and it's a large amount of cash, then you're not going to go to the ATM machine anywhere. You're going to have to go inside the bank to pull that amount of money. So all in all, I think, yes, you can make a lot of money in this business. If you want to start it correctly. Number two, you find the best locations. And number three, you have the money to start this because it's going to cost you a lot more than a regular ATM machine business. However, in my opinion, I think the cons outweigh the pros. And so instead of starting this business, I'd personally prefer to start just a regular ATM machine business because that is more straightforward. It costs less to start and I can see that business making me more money right now. So comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Bitcoin ATM machine business is something that you'd go into or not. If you currently know anyone who's in this business, comment down below and let me know how much money they're able to make every single month or every single week from this business and what locations they place their ATMs in. And as always, all the best with making money and I'll see you guys very soon in the next one.